thinking and feeling are the consequences of frantic electrochemical activity in the 10 billion or more neurons or brain cells that cram our skulls. Ecstasy works mainly on one group of neurons, the serotonin system. The center of these cells, their nuclei, are clustered at the base of our brains. From here, long wire-like tendrils or axons spread throughout the brain. These are real axons seen under a microscope. Something similar to an electric current passes down the length of these axons. When it reaches the end, it releases a chemical called a neurotransmitter. This substance jumps from one neuron to the next. They are the brain's internal messengers. And it is these that many psychoactive drugs affect. The ecstasy molecule, because of its shape, forces neurons to spew out large quantities of one particular neurotransmitter, serotonin, or as it's sometimes called, 5-HT. <laughs> Take my pill, too. 